welcome back in this video I'm just gonna show you how I made this feed screw for my cross slide one of the very first modification that I did to this lathe was placing a truss bearing inside my bracket for the cross slide and it was working fine for about a year but it start to wear out and I time to time I realized the feed screw doesn't spin um, smoothly so what I did I I take it off and I place piece of spacer in there because I cut uh, I made a big diameter inside the bracket and let me just it's already opened up and I can show you the inside and just like so this is a a spacer that I made and I placed inside and as you can see it's a quite I made up a bigger space here to basically place my bearing in there so I thought like is is good to make a different bracket for a better um, feeder screw with a different uh, sort of truss bearing and also the other uh, thing that I like to do with my lathe is basically I realize this bracket is slightly small and sometimes when I'm trying to cut a bigger part um, I'm literally the cross slide doesn't come as far as I need so I'm thinking to make this bracket also slightly bigger uh, so I can maybe this is about two centimeter so what I'm trying to do to make it three centimeter I can basically pull back the cross slide slightly more maybe three centimeter three and a half so for this video I'm mainly uh, thinking to um, just uh, make a longer feed screw for my lathe and without further ado let's start it right for the feed screw I'm gonna use this piece of a stainless steel first thing first uh, sketch like what I draw on the PC or what I designed and I'm just gonna follow this so I know what I'm doing uh, The final dimension is about 10 millimeter, but for time being, just uh, it was like a rough cut, and it's about I did it to 10.6. So later on, I'm gonna bring it down to the actual diameter. So for time being, just we doing the rough cut and quickly finish the bar to the dimension.
So I placed the dial on the tool post, just set it on one of the bolts and then, then I go end to end to make sure nothing touch the setup and seems it's okay. Now let's cut the trade and see how it goes. And here's the final product and as you can see it turned up very nicely I'm very pleased the way it looks the threads fits very nicely um, and these are the truss bearing that I can place from the end like this so for next video I'm going to make a bracket or mounting point for this feeder screw to place it on my uh, cross slide so 
thanks for watching and see you next time